Doesn't fast forward how they were playing chess. Here's the tail of the tape, guys, for the debut. Colin Sheeton, age 25, 6'1, reach 76.5, and that is a massive reach advantage. Weight at 159. The debut, RJ Putnam, 25, 5'8, 67, and weight at 159. Was that he thrives under bright lights. He thrives and in front of a big crowd. And he just got caught with a really big right hand. Oh, they're going at it. Holy! Collins going for the kill! Oh, he might have it here in early of round one! What oh, a monster! Right hand is nasty. This is fun. This is fun. Colin, the onslaught, the intensity, the pace. Let's see how long this can last. Oh, beautiful knee there. That's good see. That's so good. Wow, what a blitz into this fight. Can RJ stand this pace that Colin's throwing out of here in round number one? RJ threw a body shot. He threw a knee that is what pushed and set the pace back a little bit. But here comes Colin, right back with this intensive pace here. Oh, beautiful body kick there by Colin. RJ's Great. getting that respect yes. back. Great defense to that teep by RJ there. He did a fantastic job of swiping it away and then countering off of that. That was a slip. Unbelievable first round there by Colin out of the right corner wearing that pink. Oh, that was a beautiful, beautiful body, body shot. shot. RJ in the blue corner away the white trunks. The ones and twos. This could be the beginning of the end right here. I don't. RJ's on the ropes. RJ has to tie, yes. Good job. The knees, the knees created a lot of damp. There's another one. This is where he's got to fight this fight until he can calm Colin down because Colin is coming with an intense amount of energy right now. The pace is absolutely bananas right now. Oh. Ooh, a low blow. Yeah, wow, oh. I can't believe they didn't stop it. Oh, that right hand. Wow. All right, round number two. Let's see if the pace, if they can keep the pace that they had in that first round here in the second and bring it into the second. Colin's got such a humongous frame for a lightweight. Oh. Another low blow. That's two. I want to see uh, I'd love to see that replay. But what RJ's doing a fantastic job of is he's throwing hands and finishing with the leg kicks. That's what he's got to do to slow down Colin, is the leg kicks. I don't understand. Did you see RJ's coach was kind of cheering that? Right? Well, I don't know if he necessarily, I'd like to see the replay on that, to be honest. I want to see where that shot landed. Okay. I, I don't at all doubt Colin. I, I, I don't doubt that he got hit. But I don't, that was definitely not intentional. Right, right, I totally get that, but. I've never seen a... I don't, was he cornered? Was he coaching because he thought he landed a big shot? Or, you know, I don't know if it was because he kicked, you know, hit him in the right. Let's see. Here comes the replay. Ooh. Looks yeah, like right, right there. there. Yeah. Right there. Good replay there by the truck. Yes, thank you, guys. All right, here we go. Round two. There's a minute left. He's got a fantastic... RJ has a fantastic right hand. That's what Colin's got to do. Ooh, that's is, a nice inside leg kick there by RJ. Is keep the distance and keep those long range strikes going. And RJ's got to keep attacking the legs. Just keep attacking the legs. That's what's working right now. Step in and attack those legs. Just like that. It'll open up that right hand. It'll open up the right hand for RJ. Colin's got to stay long though. He's not throwing anything straight. Punches and bunches for oh, both fighters. Oh, big right hand. Oh. Wow, RJ. <laughs> Massive right hands to Colin in round two. Seems like a lot of wasted energy by Colin. Right now. 
away from Pearl Gonzalez's next fight. Me neither. And that way. I'm telling you, I've seen this lady fight two, three times live. Best thing on the card every single time. She steals the show. Colin does need to make adjustments, though, because he's still fighting the same as he did when he came out in that first round. He's got to try something else. Stay long. Don't, don't press the pace so hard. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that was for 15 seconds. Oh, round number three. That right hand is nasty. If he can just give himself the space to land it, Colin can have a massive, have massive, massive success with his right hand. screaming for him to use the jab. Well, he's got to throw down the pipe. He's not throwing. Everything is circular. Watch right. his strikes. They're all circular. RJ sees it. RJ is, is, is reading these. He's been reading it all night long. There's one. See, when he throws straight, he lands. He's got to throw straight. But everything round and outside, RJ reads. And counters. only been training for six months. This is incredible. The kid's got so much pure uh, athleticism and talent. It's unbelievable. And like he said, his warrior spirit. I mean, I, I truly believe in that, and I agree with him. He does. He has that beautiful inside leg kick. Winner yeah. loose tonight. He's going to gain a lot of put nine oh. minutes of action out there in the kickboxing ring. But RJ keeps on fighting back. God, look at the heart of Colin, though. Look at the intensity. He's not at all deterred by this moment here and he's just soaking it up and and just trying right now trying his best fantastic fight wow that, that's a big way to end the fight <laughs> big way to end the fight fantastic fight first of all how about a round of applause for these young men After three rounds of action, we go to our judges' scorecard for a decision. Judge number one scored about 29-28 for Putnam. Judge number two scored at 29-28, Sheehan. Judge number three scored about 29-28 for your winner by split decision. From the red corner, Colin Sheehan. I couldn't have done it without this amazing group and this amazing coach right here. The wonderful, amazing Mr. Scott Farley. Everyone here in Island Price know who he is. He's the greatest here. And thank you for the top tier for everything. You did a fantastic job of coming out in that first round. Aggressive, high pace. You set the tone of the fight. Was there anything that surprised you by your opponent tonight? His tenacity stayed with me. Oh my goodness. Uh, I know everyone thought he was on the dog, but I didn't want to underestimate him either. Try to stay focused, but I knew I was going to win. This is my fight. This is my night tonight. And thank you for everything. You have a ton of support here tonight. What would you like to say to the crowd? Oh man, everyone that came out to support me, I could not be here without here, without you guys, as well as my sponsor, the best coffee shop in town in Pensacola, Ala Prima. What can I say? I love them to death. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Colin Sheehan.